While poking around in the attic, you might come across a mess like this. Thousands of insect body parts. And over here is a pipe from the solar hot water heater. As it heats up, a visitor appears to hug the pipe. Then more of his buddies show up and enjoy a hot, dry place. The black mastiff bat is the largest of the molossid family of bats, which is the fourth most diverse bat family. They get their family name from their resemblance to the molossus dog, which is a breed from ancient southern Europe. They also roost in crevices and cliffs and in hollow trees. Like all bats, their bodies are 75% covered in fur, which doesn't seem to keep them warm enough since they love to roost under the corrugated metal roofs of many Costa Rican buildings, where temperatures can get extremely hot during the day. Notice that some individuals are all black and others are very reddish. These are two color phases within the population. The black mastiff bat is a common bat from Mexico to northern Argentina. In Costa Rica, it is found in the Pacific Lowlands, Central Valley, and onto the Caribbean slope. They fly over cities, agricultural areas, open habitats, and in forested areas. They really do look like dogs. They have wings adapted for fast, straight flight, that is, long and thin. They are the fastest flying bats and resemble swifts, their daytime counterpart among the birds. A special ring of cartilage slides up or down the tail vertebra by muscular action to stretch or retract the tail membrane. This allows for highly maneuverable flight. Of course, you should learn its sonogram, too. Whoa, they're really good at scampering. We all have our fears, and the black mastiff bat has a serious life-threatening problem, the black and white owl. This aerial predator has evolved a special talent of being able to grab a fast-flying molossid bat in mid-air. That sounds impossible, but it happens a lot. This bat is an insect eater, known to eat beetles, flying ants, and termites, often foraging over water. It can only eat up to one-third of its body mass each night to be able to stay light enough to fly. Now that's a diet that will work. Like most bats, they use echolocation to find these insects. Black mastiff bats have small colonies of 30 to 50 members of both sexes. Due to their long, narrow wings made for fast flight, they need about four or five meters of vertical drop from the roost so they can get enough speed up for flight. If it can't pull up in time, it crash lands. They don't like to fly in the rain and will head back to the roost when a storm hits. That must hurt. It must be nice to have a dry, warm place while the rainstorm rages outside. 